Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm so excited for this. Uh, I have been actually planning on making this video for quite a while. It's been like, I think probably three, four weeks, but I was just doing more research and also testing a product to just to give you guys like a better idea of like uh, what to better use it or just to give you guys like a, as most well-rounded response or review as possible. So today, as you guys saw from the title, we are talking about retinol. So retinol, I have to say, when I first heard about it, I was just kind of like, uh, what is this? Like I really just thought like it was kind of like made up name by the brands just to sell more products, like or just more stuff, you know, because it's marketing and we are in America. So, <laughs> but then I when I did my research, turns out it's actually vitamin. So. Let's just get into details on like what the retinol is. So there's actually two kinds of retinol. So there's like retinol and there's a retin A. Uh, so retinol is essentially over the counter. You can get it from anywhere. Like you don't have to have a prescription or anything like that. So it's pretty easy to get. Uh, it's yeah, you can like literally go to a drugstore and like find a product that actually has retinol in it, or it's actually a product that specifically just says retinol. The other one is retinol A, which is uh, essentially like prescription based. It's like so much stronger. So that one is essentially like if you are having very serious issues with your uh, skin, uh, skin, or you just want something super, super strong, uh, you just go to a doctor or dermatologist or esthetician and they write a prescription for you, just for you. So retinol, essentially, as I said before, it's a vitamin, it's like vitamin A, and this essentially really helps with like collagen production. So that's one reason is like because I think generally naturally then the when, since the day we are born <laughs> since the day we die I guess you know our body naturally uh, produces collagen but as we age older you know our body just stops producing collagen or not even like completely stops it's just essentially producing less and less uh, as we grow older hence we have to use these kind of products to grow that, you know, collagen production so we can, you know, have like a nicer, smoother skin here. <laughs> so that's essentially what it does. And there's just generally so many ways that like people say that like, this is the age you should be getting, this is the age that you should be starting doing it. So there's like multiple ways to it. I will definitely put like two, three videos, educational videos from like the doctors actually. So you guys can check them out for more detail. This is just more like my opinion. So if you guys want to check more detailed opinion or just like more opinion from like a directly uh, dermatologist because in this episode I just, oh my god I keep saying episode in this video I'm just trying to help you guys like more like what products you can get at an affordable price or just over the counter so you don't have to you know spend your money to go to a dermatologist unless you really have to when you first start you should definitely use it uh, like not as often as you use with like other products uh, because like what happens with like retinol is that like, because like it has to get adjusted to your skin and depending on like how much is inside of the product you really have to like you have, you have to test it out with your skin that's why we're going to talk about the cons of the uh, retinol as well so retinol is like generally it has so many benefits and everything but we also have to talk about some of the side effects or some of the ways that like you have to avoid it or you have to just take it easy so one product i wanted to mention this has retinol dr jenner's hydro shield hydrating dream cream so this has actually so many good products uh, well so many <laughs> i mean uh, so many ingredients that's like very good inside because it has it doesn't just have retinol it has retinol it has ceramides and I think it also has peptides so these are like very good um, ingredients overall I'm not gonna get too detailed on like peptide and ceramides they're just very helpful in terms of like aging overall I will definitely make like an entire episode like entire episode I mean entire video about ceramide niacinamide uh, all those kind of like good stuff because they're so interesting I'm definitely doing more research on it but in this episode I just want to mention just retinol so this has and retinol inside I was literally just trying to figure out to see what percentage of retinol is inside because like uh, from all the doctors even I have mentioned in the videos I'm gonna link it down below they recommended like when you first start retinol you should start like z maybe like 0.25 or 0.5 definitely don't start at like 
one because like that's very strong and you don't want to like because what happens with retinol is that like although retinol is so good for your skin and everything it helps with like, collagen production but what happens is like it makes your skin super super sensitive to the sunlight and we all know <laughs> that not a lot of us use SPF or we use SPF but we, use, we don't use it on a regular basis and that makes our skin super super sensitive to the sunlight and that's why we can get redness and everything else so it doesn't really help so much which is the reason I feel like you have to be very careful if you start using a retinol you have to be using SPF literally all the time I mean all the time and also other thing to remember I will definitely make like an entire video about like an SPF if, uh, later on but also I want to think SPF even Hiram said this too you should SPF generally like you should always reapply it every two hours as well so just to get like better because it, it loses its purpose every two hours doesn't matter what kind of uh, SPF it is so that one thing I would say maybe you guys can see in here I generally have like super super dark circles here although like it's not like super like it's perfect right now but like it's definitely so much sm smoother now although it's like I am shooting this like earlier in the day so it might be just because I woke up I didn't get enough sleep or whatever or I slept too much so that might be some of factors but I'm just saying like it really helps with that and you guys see like my uh, forehead and everything so there aren't any like visible wrinkles or anything like that so I'm just saying like it really does help in terms of that um, one thing I want to mention though because there are so many times like people may be hesitant about using retinol or they don't want to just start yet they could use something slow or something like more not as strong as retinol or maybe retinol alternative that's why I have actually some solutions for you guys as well because I think First of all, I know this from men's perspective and also I would say like maybe some girls too because I personally don't love just using so many products in my skincare routine. I want to have like maybe top five or maximum like six products for my skincare routine and be done. I'm not going to do like 12 step skincare routine that's just, I mean I like I admire those people who does that but like I just can't do that. It's just too long for me. I just don't have patience to do that every night. So I want to make my skincare routine as short as possible. Hence, I feel like it's better to have products that already have retinol inside, but it's not necessarily just retinol cream, that is. So that's one reason, actually, if you have, go back to, I think, two videos before, I did make a video about VPL skincare products. One of their, actually, uh, moisturizer, which is right here, this actually has retinol inside it's already a moisturizer it has a retinol inside it also has vitamin c that's another point but like it has retinol inside so which means you don't actually have to use retinol on top of this because it's a moisturizer it already has retinol so that's one alternative to use if you don't want to go all the way to the you know just buying separate retinol also because one thing to say is like most retinols are not cheap either so it's sometimes it's actually so much better to get st especially because if you're starting just retinol it's better to have retinol alternative in the beginning or buy a product that has retinol inside because that most likely means that they are retinol level it's not as strong it's a good way for your skin to get ready and get used to retinol then you can buy actual retinol or stronger ones to you know perfect your skin and i think i would recommend this is not a retinol or anything like that but this does help with the similar aspects to it it's kind of like a alternative alternative uh, i wouldn't necessarily say that like it replaces that because most of the time I personally you would use retinol mainly not because of the wrinkles on anywhere in my skin because I'm still in the early uh, 20s uh, it's more that because I have actually like the dark circles or sometimes like little wrinkles on my eyes so actually this product is also from Dr. Dennis this is like Hydra Burst Eye Mask so this does help with that too because you know retinol has the uh, again the purpose is to produce collagen so this actually has also collagen hyaluronic acid which also helps with the puffiness and it really helps with just like you know uh, making your skin look more younger and it also has a gold inside which again it really helps with aging so this is perfect for that as well in terms of aging just this is just for eyes area so I would just recommend using that as well it's just totally up to you and like where you're targeting in your skincare or in your skin that like 
that your areas you're concerned of because I think if you are concerned more about the eye area you can definitely you know use that one for you know your eyes and on top of retinol I think it will be perfect combination I hope you guys like this if you do please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next week